What's up everybody, it's your boy, Sunny Boy, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to double click in three easy steps. That's right, just three steps. This method is super easy to learn, and whether you're bridging in Minecraft, grinding your homework at 3 in the morning, or you're trying to buy a graphics card the second it restocks, double clicking is really useful. But before I teach you how, there's one thing you're going to have to make sure you do. Understanding what double clicking is. What? Did you think I was going to say something else? <sighs> I'm not going to waste your time like that. No, actually no. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Thank you. So as I was saying, you're going to have to understand how double clicking works. If you know how double clicking works, you'll be able to learn how to double click faster and correct your mistakes a lot easier. So back to the question. How does double clicking work? Well, before that, what even is double clicking? Double clicking is the act of registering two clicks when you actually only clicked once. So it's like clicking twice by clicking once. Yeah, I know. Spooky. Now, there are two main ways you can double click. The first way is to download a software that allows you to get two clicks every one normal click. Although, this method is considered cheating and can get you banned in most Minecraft servers. I mean, if you're not playing Minecraft though, then go ahead and download that. The other way is to click your mouse in such a way that it actually clicks twice, but makes it look like you're only clicking once. No hacks involved. And this method is what I'm going to teach you today. But how does this method work? To explain, I'm going to use this model I came up with using a ball. Now, a normal click would just be a normal bounce with the ball. Remember, one bounce is one click. So just dropping the ball and catching it again would be a normal click. Now. A double click would be dropping the ball and allowing it to bounce, but following through with your hand and making the ball bounce again before catching it in one fluid motion. Kind of like a light click and a normal click. Light bounce, normal bounce. Light click, normal click. This is basically what double clicking is. It's just a light click and a normal click, but done very fast. Are you with me? Now, don't worry. I will teach you how to do this later in this video. It's actually really simple. But anyways, that's how double clicking works. Oh yeah, and one more thing. You're going to have to make sure you have the right mouse. Now, let me just tell you that pretty much 90% of mouses on the market can double click. The main issue is if the mouse registers it or not. Although, pretty much 75% of those mouses can register them too, so you should be fine. Like, even this tiny office mouse can double click. Like, look at it. It's literally the size of my palm, and it can double click. So don't come up with me with your little glorious model of wireless seeing that you can't double click. Because if this failure of an office mouse can, then I'm sure your super expensive mouse can too. So, sorry, I, I got a little worked up there. But anyways, a quick Google search asking if your mouse can double click always helps. By the way, here's a quick tip if you have a gaming mouse. Most gaming mice have a software that you can download to customize your mouse's settings, like lightings, keybinds, and more. But some software, like Glorious, allow you to change the debounce time. The lower your debounce time, the easier it is to double click. I recommend you having your debounce time at 2 or 4 milliseconds, since higher than that might not register double clicks, and lower, or I guess 0 milliseconds, can accidentally cause double clicks, which can be a bit annoying. Alright, we finally finished everything you needed to know. Let's get right into the guide. Where you place your finger on your mouse can seriously change the difficulty of double clicking. The closer your finger is to the front of the mouse, the easier it'll be to double click. Remember that, that that's a very important tip. So here's an easy way to get good finger placement. First of all, take the finger you're double clicking with. I'm gonna be double clicking with my pointer finger. Now, you see how there's two lines on your finger? One here, one here. So since I'm clicking on the left button, I'm gonna put the top line on my pointer finger on the edge of the mouse. After that, just place the rest of your hand like you would normally hold a mouse. Now, you want to make sure your finger is resting in a straight curve or line. Don't bend it like this or like this. Just keep it loose and natural. Although, there are cases where this doesn't work because your finger might be too long or the mouse is curved down too much. For example, if I try to do the same thing on the right click, it doesn't work. So my finger hits the surface of the table. In this case, you just gotta scoot your finger back so that it doesn't touch the wow. surface. But still make sure that some of your finger is off the mouse since it will make double clicking a lot easier. Before we move on to the next step though, there are a few finger placements I would recommend. If you're clicking on the left button, I recommend you use the placement that I demonstrated where you keep your pointer finger like this. If you're gonna double click on the right button though, there are two ways I recommend holding it. You can choose which one you'd like to use. The first one is actually the one that comes more natural to me, where I use my pointer finger and hold it like this, while my middle, ring, and pinky finger are all off the mouse. The thumb is just normally where it is though. The other one might seem to make more sense to you, where you use your middle finger to double click and keep the rest of your hand like a basic palm grip. 
but this can result in a few complications with the other steps. I will explain how to double click with all three of these methods though, so don't worry. But that's all there is to the first step, so let's move on to the second one, which is the lift. This is probably the simplest step, since all you gotta do is lift the finger you're gonna click with at about a 30 degree angle. Although I have seen some of my friends also lift the rest of their hand or other fingers, which is not what you want to do. This can actually lead to two things. One is that, well, you just won't get a proper double click. Or two, you might end up clicking the other mouse button too, which can cause some issues. Just try to lift the finger you're double clicking with. There is one exception for this though, which I will explain later. Anyways, the rest of your hand should be in the exact same place they were before. It's just a simple lift with your finger. And similar to the last step, make sure your finger is straight and not curving like this or like this. You want it to be as straight as possible. This really shouldn't strain your finger, so if it is, you might be lifting it a bit too much, so just lower it a little bit if that's the case. And if you're using the finger placements I recommended, it should look like this with the left click and this with the right click. Remember how I said there's one exception to the whole don't lift the rest of your hand thing? This is the exception. If you're trying to double click on the right side with your middle finger, you might notice that it's hard to lift just that middle finger. In this case, it's okay to lift the rest of your finger. Just make sure that you keep your thumb in the same place. Alright, we've got the placement and the lift. The last step is the drop. This step requires the most practice out of all steps, so don't get mad if you don't get it first drop. All you gotta do is drop your finger to the exact same place you had when you started. It's just a quick drop back to the original position. As you can see, the line in my finger is at the edge of the mouse just like before. In the drop, you want to make sure you don't do it too slow or too soft, because you won't get the bounce like you're supposed to. Remember, it's a light click and a normal click. So doing it too slow will only get you the light click, but not the normal one. You probably shouldn't do it super hard either, since, well, you'll probably break your mouse. So just drop your finger at a nice quick speed. You should hear a crackle in your click that indicates if you did it right or not. Here's a quick comparison in how a normal click versus a double click sounds. Also, like I've said in the past two steps, make sure you keep your finger loose and straight. You don't want it to curve like this or like this. Try to end as natural and straight as possible. As you can see, this is how the drop looks for the left click and right click. And how do you do the right click middle finger one? Well, glad you asked. Last time we left off, we were at the lift, where all fingers except the thumb were in the air. Now, you want to drop the middle finger exactly like how you're supposed to drop the pointer finger, right on the edge of the mouse. However, you want your pointer, ring, and pinky finger to still be in the air. They don't have to be in the exact same place they were when they started. They can be a little lower, but you don't want them to hit the ground especially the pointer finger, since it can cause you to accidentally click on the left button. Also, you might have realized how my middle finger isn't perfectly straight on the button. It seems to be a little bit elevated on the second line on my finger. That's actually fine when it comes to the middle finger, since it's really tricky to double click when your middle finger is straight. So now that we've gone over all three steps, here's how the whole process looks. Now, if you weren't able to get this in the first couple of attempts, that's totally fine. Practice makes perfect, so just try it again and again and you should be able to get it. Well, that's basically it. Hopefully, you were able to learn how to double click. Make sure you smash that like button three times for good measure, hit that subscribe button, and smack that bell so you know when I've made a new video. Thanks for watching. See ya!